Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk today about some things the Lord's been dealing with me about. I'm going to keep this video short. The last one's kind of long, but um, use what you got. So, you know, it's kind of the hour we're in where God's vessel is created in His image. Just, you know, please look at some of my other videos. They're pretty awesome, and it's not me. I'm just this vessel that God used. We all have gifts and talents and callings. But anyhow, here's what I'm going to dive into. And it's in Elijah, one of the scriptures that the Lord gave me. But I'm going to also intertwine a little bit of a story. But then the men of the city said to Elijah, Please notice the situation of the city. This city is pleasant, as my Lord sees, but the water is bad and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new bowl and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out into the source of the water and cast in the salt therein. And he said, Thus saith the Lord, I have healed this water from it. From there shall be no more death or barrenness. And, the, and the, so the water remains healed to this day, according to the word of Elijah, which was spoken. The Lord told me that scripture, took me to that scripture, and then he dealt with me, he said, Elijah used what he got, what he had, bowl and salt, and he healed the water. And, you know, he was dealing with me about getting my wife to help me on YouTube and some different things and some different situations, and um, said, use what I got, you know. Um, my computer's broke, the mouse doesn't work. When you unplug it, the battery is gone, it dies. We just haven't got around to getting a new one. I just, just seems like stuff comes up, but it's like, use what you got. So where are you at? What do you got? Who's your source? God's calling all his people to use what they got, wherever it's at. You know, my wife and I are planning a trip, told me to get in the car and go. Uh, what he did what he did was he'd been dealing with me in different cities told me to get a yellow notebook and start writing them down i've been going to gone to three or four of them already um he even dealt with me about some countries um give me lists of people and names that are going to be interconnected and intertwined and it's like okay god this you know you show me some lofty things in the future and some of them already kind of started to come to pass but it's like okay god i'm just going to kind of kind of flow with it and he told me a while back that he's gonna tell me and my wife to just get in our car and go or get on a plane and go in different places and so he dealt with me about a year ago uh it was in november and one of the cities he highlighted was he kept telling me cities italy texas little elm texas paris texas uh oh i forget tyrone oklahoma just just different places you know non alaska just all kinds of different places and it's like okay god i just you know and he just highlight these cities well, we went to a couple of them, and some awesome things happened. But the the the, the one he's having us go to now, he, in the, he wanted me to go in November. Well, my wife had to have some major teeth surgery. Um, they said it was going to take a couple months. It was very very expensive. They said you know six two months should be eating solid foods again. Blah 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 da da da. It's going on six month. Teeth have broke four times or five times. She's going to finally get her permanent ones put in uh, in about a month. But it's just been like just an ongoing trial. So um, the Lord told me, you know, so we kept putting it off, putting off this trip. So then my sister-in-law passed away at Christmas, Christmas Eve. Um, and then it was just like one thing after another. It was just like events that took place and it's like okay, okay but i learned a long time ago god's delays are not denial so i'm like okay god there's just a timing issue and but what he told me was he said i was sitting in my prayer and he said canyon creek illinois i'm like okay does that even exist so i'll go to google it you know because i mean that's like so i look it up you know canyon creek illinois not even you know looked it up four or five different ways cities in Illinois, I just couldn't find it. it. Doesn't exist. It's not there. I'm like, well, God, you told me that, so kept looking. Looked at cities in the U.S. named Canyon Creek, one in Utah. I'm like, that's not it. 
kept looking and looking and looking and twisting and turning and googling it this way and googling it that way about 20 minutes really a while and all of a sudden the ad for Zillow pops up a house for sale on Canyon Creek Illinois on Canyon Creek Street in Illinois it's in normal Illinois and the Lord said that's it that's where I want you to go and he said I want you to take three days to drive there and three days back and spend the spend the 4th of July there <clears throat> and he said it's not going to be a normal day I'm like, okay God so just kind of just kind of created that atmosphere you know so well now you know so he didn't say the 4th of July the first time he said he said the three days there and spend the day and then the, and then three days back but the delay kept coming and then finally he said you know once you go on the 4th of July I said that a couple of months ago well things come up my wife wants to plan a trip with the grandkids over the 4th of July our work is you know pretty demanding um, we have nobody to replace us so to take a trip we either have to pay somebody you know so thousand dollars plus whatever the trip costs so you know it can be very expensive and it's just kind of complicated um we do get one week off but you know so we had already took that off so anyhow that the building's going to be closed so guess what we have the whole week off perfect timing so then my grandkids and but then that didn't transpire we were going to take them on a trip but that didn't transpire so i was like okay god it's still on then my wife goes to the dentist and they're going to give her her new teeth on Jan on uh, July 2nd. I'm like, okay, you know, she's been going through living hell with this for six months. I'm not going to, you know, say, hey, now we got to go on this trip, blah, blah, blah. No, I'll just, you know, rearrange it and we'll do a different trip. Well, she didn't like it, changed it, changed her teeth style, so they're not going to do it now. So it's like, okay, we're back on. So we're going to go. We're just going to get in our car and go. I don't know where the journey's going to end and we have no you know specific cities to stop in or you know it's just a mission trip my, my wife's like can't can't god send us someplace close you know we we minister at the downtown street downtown dallas austin street shelter for the homeless uh you know we've had ran into people at our church we ran into people on our house street we've had people just come to our house and knock um you know but I'm like, well, it's God, you know, dealing with this. And he had dealt with me about a bunch of different cities, and he's just already two or three of them had trans, four of them had transpired, and two of them were awesome, exactly what God told me to do, and specific, specific people. So it's like, okay, we're going to go. I don't know where we're going to land, what we're going to do. He dealt with me that, that July 7th, or July 8th was important because 7 8 2018. A lot of sevens, a lot of eights. God's perfect number, new beginning. So it's like, okay, I don't know where we're going to go to church. That's a Sunday. So it's, there's an importance to that too. Um, you know, we may make a st stop in uh, International House of Prayer. Uh, it's kind of a sidetrack, 300 miles, but, you know, I don't know yet. You know, we're just going to kind of go. Um, so use what you got, you know, where, where's God at you? What's he, who's he having you pray for, you know? God's looking for all available sources in his church, the vessels that, you know, pray for your neighbors, you know, maybe you may be extremely well off in business, uh, you know, so you may be part of the, that part of the church, you may be part of the giving, you may be part of the prayer, just whatever. Use what you got whatever level is that so God's just looking for all available sources and vessels and just kind of just please look at some of my other messages they're a little bit deeper than this one but this is just kind of use what you got so anyhow love you guys uh stay in tune uh you can email me at steveyoungstrom at yada.com if you want to email me or you can just you know like dislike on this please share it with other people thanks god bless you see you soon